Why will he entrust true riches to you if you've not been faithful with riches that is not true riches? If you are faithful in the small things, he will entrust his true riches to you, which is his kingdom's treasures. Some people think because they've been unsuccessful in the, in the worldly, worldly businesses, the secular businesses, oh, now they try the ministry. You will not make it in ministry. Or in any kind of ministry, not only full-time ministry, any kind of ministry. If you've, been, well, if you've not been faithful in the secular world, in business or your career, why will God entrust the true riches to you? What I say to you, you need to be like Daniel wherever you are. Give God a hand. With the excellent spirit, you need to be like Daniel in your career. Daniel was promoted by worldly people, wicked kings. He was promoted by wicked kings, worldly kings. Nebuchadnezzar, those evil guys, Darius. He was promoted and highly esteemed among these wicked kings because they could not overlook the excellent spirit that was in him because he gave his all to God right from the beginning. There was never a compromise with him. When God, God will, will give you first the small things and if you're faithful with that, he will give you a bigger thing. That can many times be in a secular world. He will not entrust, entrust true riches to you if you have not been faithful in secular world or business world or career. I mean... You can forget it. Hallelujah. You must go and look at people who are successful in ministry today, what they've done before they've been in ministry. They've been successful in their careers. They've been successful in their businesses. They've been successful as farmers, for example. It is people who've been tested in the secular world. And their hearts have been tested and be weighed. May God, when He come and test your heart, may there be substance in your heart. What is the substance? The substance that God needs is faithfulness and endurance. Give Him a hand. <clears throat> faithfulness and endurance in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes Christians look at people that make a lot of money and they point fingers and say, oh, he's off to mammon. <laughs> I salute successful people because they've got substance. Especially Christians knowing that God's going to use them later on with other things. Especially when they use their riches to build God's kingdom and to win souls for Christ. In Jesus' name. Say to the guy next to you, you should be successful. You should do your work excellent. When you work in your career, you should work as if you are working for God himself. You are not working for that boss. You are not working for government only. You are working for God. And when you do your work, you should be like Daniel and Joseph, who both have been raised to awesome leaders, both of them second in charge of mighty kingdoms. Second in charge as Jews, foreigners, aliens in their countries where they've been, where they've been sent to exile, they rose in these foreign, foreign countries, foreigners, into second in charge of these mighty kingdoms of the time. Egypt was a mighty kingdom, my friend. Babylon was a mighty kingdom. These Jews were looked down on. And the Jews in those days and even today, they, they, you know, Satan caused the Jews to be looked down on and even Christians to look down on. Now the Jews have been looked down on in the days of Egypt and the days of Babylon. God raised them up because of their faithfulness. Their faithfulness developed within them as an excellent spirit. You don't just receive excellent spirit. God check your faithfulness. And when you are faithful, your excellence 
the excellence of your spirit is increasing all the time. Do not wait for things to happen. The person of faith makes things happen. So many people wait for something to happen. You're supposed to be the mountain mover. Don't wait for the mountain to be moved. You need to move the mountain. 